When a family has owned a business for generations, that business becomes much more. To a farming family, the farm itself transcends the business aspects. It becomes something the family represents and something that represents the family. Developing a strategy for the transition of a family business you've worked decades to build takes careful planning and teamwork. Ron and Joe have been farming since the late 1970s when they started renting farmland from Ron's father. They've since taken over his father's land and expanded their farming operation. And now after 30 years of farming, they're thinking about the future of their land and how to pass it on to their children. But when is the right time to start that conversation about transitioning a farming business? And how does one begin to have that conversation in a larger family? These are the questions that Ron and Joe have wrestled with in recent years. But they found the process easier thanks to openness with their family and with the team of professionals they've chosen to help them make the transition. Recently, their son John has taken an interest in someday taking over the farming operation. So the family is in the process of planning how they legally give him the farmland while keeping the other four children involved in the process. Most of my life I've just been busy being busy and I've never really sat down and thought a lot about, you know, where we're headed. Well now, I have a new daughter-in-law and John is absolutely serious about what he's going to do. So I, we needed to get things maybe a little more in black and white and decide uh, how it was going to be because I just had another birthday and I'm not getting any younger. The family is in the beginning stages of the eventual transition of the business over to John. In order to cover all their bases, they've gathered a team of insurance and legal professionals, including their Farm Bureau Financial Services agent and life and investment specialist. We didn't know where to turn or where to look. And if, if you can find anybody who can give you step one, you'll get to step 10, but you gotta find that person, I think, that'll get you to step one. Our first step, I called Tara and asked her if she knew of anybody or if we could talk about how to do that, and she brought Ed into the picture. These people that we're working with and have uh, come into our lives have, have challenged some different uh, ideas and things that we need to consider. Right now, when you just talk to uh, each child individually, you get kind of their perspective and, and what they feel, but we're planning on getting everyone together and trying to, to let everyone know uh, what our wishes are. Dad and I get along really well, and I've always felt that he's been more than generous with me. That's just the kind of person he is, so he wanted it to be fair if we bring in a third party or bring in somebody that knows kind of about this or that's helped with this. It helps keep anybody from having hard feelings towards one another. John is the fourth of five children, and even though his four sisters don't have a desire to take over the farm, they were very active in their father's operations when they were younger. And John, the likely business successor, says he understands that all his siblings have a stake in the farm and is respectful of that. It's our parents, not my parents, so it's gonna be as much theirs and things will have to be split off and that'll be, you know, I'll be okay. They're starting their lives too. They're all just married and, and I see our oldest daughter has an 11-year-old son that loves the farm. It's going to be a changing thing, but if we can open the doors of communication now, as those kids grow and decide what they want to do, there could be an opportunity for them to be involved. Keeping what we've built up and spent our life doing is uh, very, very important to me. Uh, the older I get, <laughs> the, the more you watch. There's a lot of people that when they get older just sell their land and then it's somebody else's. Uh, we've spent quite a while accumulating what we have. I would be all for someone else stepping in and being ready to do it and, and do it kind of the way that we've done or the way we would like to have it done. As the family has been working through the transition process, they've discovered many things they had never considered. They found that working with their Farm Bureau Financial Services professionals and the team they've assembled is giving them a valued perspective. While Ron and Joe admit the process is a constantly changing one, they say the more involved they are in that process, the more they can keep their family members informed. When we started on this, it was like most of the things in my life. You, you go cut the hay once and it's done and you cut the wheat and you don't have to worry about it until next year. This, this process is it's just ongoing and I don't know that there's probably going to be an end to it. When we first started the process and, and they said something about meeting 
in Minneapolis and, and it was a day when one of the few days we could have cut or done something in the field and I said well we don't have to go and Ron said no we do have to go because this is important we've started that we've got to continue and I think that is a very important step is not to let other things push it aside because that's easily done but but to make that step and sometimes those appointments aren't handy they're not at a good time but you do it because it is important to make sure what you have stays together and is passed on. Ron and Joe are on the right track to transitioning their farming business and keeping the farm in their family. And now that addressing the business transition process has become second nature in regular business planning meetings with their insurance and investment professionals, they feel peace of mind in having begun the transition process at this point in their lives. When dealing with such a complex and sensitive subject as a family farm, it seems that it's never too early to start the conversation. To start your transition planning conversation, contact your Farm Bureau agent. Or for more information, visit FBFS.com.